God for his goodness towards us. Please lift up your voice and begin to thank God. This evening, Lord, we want to appreciate you for the privilege of life. Thank you for this beautiful day that you have created for us. Thank you for gathering us at your feet this evening. We want to appreciate you for your love, for your mercies, for your kindness, for your sustenance, for your grace that have abounded towards us. You have kept your church around the world. And, oh God, you have helped us to gather at your feet this evening, oh God. We appreciate the opportunity you have created for us. We bless your name for your love. We thank you for your sustenance. We thank you for the fact that every now and then you have a plan for your church and you are executing it in accordance, oh God, with your predetermined purpose. We give you all the praise, oh God. We appreciate you for this gathering, oh God. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you that you have a blessing to give to your church. We thank you that you have planned to impact us tonight also. We thank you that you have prepared your servant to be a blessing. We thank you, oh God, that tonight lives will be transformed. We appreciate you and we give you all the glory. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. Thank you. In the name of Abide Jesus. Under, under his, his anointing. Abide under his control. Abide under, under his anointing. His presence. His presence. the spirit of God to take total control that the fire of God will flow the anointing of the Lord will touch our father and affect the lives of listeners we are praying that the Holy Ghost will be in charge of this meeting lift your voice and let's begin to pray Thank you, 
city me under about. Have your way, Spirit of the living God. This evening, Lord, we commit a service into your hands, O God. Take total control. Let your presence be with us, O God, in the name of Jesus. And touch everyone connected in one way or the other in the name of Jesus. We ask, O God, that you carry your servant in your arms, O God, and let the streams of living waters flow through him as he brings your word to your people in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way tonight. Have your way, O oh God. Let lives be transformed. Let the sick be healed. Let families be molded. Cause your effect to affect every life and every home and every nation in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise that you have taken over. We give you all the praise that you are in charge. We give you all the praise that lives are scheduled for blessing tonight. We bless your name, O oh God. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, tonight we give you praise. We bless your name that one more time you've gathered us at your feet. We thank you that your blessings are packaged. And through this platform, you are affecting lives. Lord Jesus, we lift your servant into your hands. One more time, let him be an oracle. And use him to bless your church across the world. In Jesus' name, amen.
Your face. 
enthusiasm we are going before the Lord in worship this evening we want to remind ourselves of the nature of the God that we know and we serve we are exalting the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords Bible says that yours O Lord is the glory the power the greatness the splendor for the whole heavens and the whole earth belong to you this evening we are grateful for the opportunity to come before the living God to honor him to lift his name up like I said we are reminding ourselves of who he is how great he is how wonderful he is how powerful he is and as we remind ourselves let us with all our energy and with all our attention offer worship unto the King of Kings Christo Entiria Siamenina Casse Uncuto Na Uyo O Entiria Via Siamenina Casse Oh, 
Lift your voice and exalt the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord, you are worthy to receive the glory. You are worthy to receive the honor. We lift up your name on high, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is none holy as you. There is none that can be compared to you. We bless your name this evening, O God. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There is none that can compare to you, O God. There is none that can compare, compare to you, O God. You alone are worthy to receive the praise. You alone are worthy to receive the glory. We lift up your name on high, O God. You alone are worthy to receive all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. Your soul, Lord, is the glory. Your soul, Lord, is the splendor. We give you all the glory, Father, from the depths of our heart. We acknowledge that you are God. We lift up your name, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Who can compare to you? You are worthy to receive the glory. You are worthy to receive the honor. Lord, there is none that compares to you, O God. There is none that can be likened to you, O God. From the east to the west, the north to the south, O God, you alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are King, O God. Your name is great and greatly to be praised. You alone are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is none that compares to you, O God. We bless your name, King of kings. We bless your name, O God. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. from the depths of our heart we worship you you are worthy to receive the glory you are worthy to receive all of the honor we lift up your name on high oh god you have won the victory father god there is none that can contend with you there is none that can compare to you 
We bless your name, O God. We give you all the glory and all of the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord of hosts, he is king. He has promised he'll never fail. He's a rock on which we build. We won't fail. He has promised to build his church. He is a rock on which we build, and we won't fail. Because he has promised to build his church. The Lord of hosts, he is king. He has promised he will never fail. He's a rock on which we build, we won't fail, because he has promised to build his church. He is a rock, he is a rock on which we build, we won't fail.
Apostle Peter says that, therefore, make every effort to make your calling and election sure. For when you do that, you will not fall. Indeed, we are flesh and blood, but by the grace and by the Spirit of God, we can stand for him. Beloved, we want to welcome you to the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Eric Yamiche. We are grateful to those who are joining us on TV, on Pen TV. It's all about Jesus. Pen TV, we are on the satellite platform, telecasting here in Ghana and parts of Central and West Africa. We are on the free to air digital terrestrial platform on channel 34. We are also on DSTV, channel 367, and Go TV, channel 175. We want to welcome our viewers on Atinka TV. Very grateful to Atinka Media Village for the strong support as far as this transmission is concerned. Welcome our Zoom audience and then those who are watching us on Facebook at APS. Dot Eric Nyamiche on Pen TV, GH, and then on the COP HQ. Want to specially welcome all those who are also connecting on YouTube at Pen TV, GH, and then those who are listening on the COP online radio. The special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost is sponsored by Priority Insurance. Priority Insurance, we are on your side when it comes to all your insurance needs, when it comes to all forms of insurance needs, once you connect to Priority Insurance, Priority Insurance will give you top priority. We are also sponsored by Next Computers, your home of top class quality computers and accessories, photocopiers and money counting machines. Next Computers have taken stock of CCTV cameras and as you can see, scrolling or crawling down you would have to connect and get one of the CCTV cameras and install at your very strategic location in these security times. It was sponsored by Lufa Tablet and Syrup. Once you test for malaria, the remedy is Lufa Tablet and Syrup. And then finally, EDC. EDC is a subsidiary of the Ecobank Group. EDC is saying that your financial independence is possible they can help you to be able to save one day at a time so that you can become the next millionaire. Beloved, this is the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. And last week, we left here agreeing with our Beth Stwaza that the only way we can teach our children and the next generation is by example, by example, and by example. Tonight, we are gathered here so that as God, through his man servant, continue to teach us, we'll be well equipped to be worthy examples to save our families. It's my singular honor, as always, to introduce to the lectern the chairman of the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, Apostle Eric Nyamichi.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Possessing the nations. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to bless God for this opportunity to come your way once again. There are three ways to teach a child. The first is by example. The second is by example. And the third is by example. Says Albert Schweizer, a German theologian. Germany. To young people, we said last week, expect parents to live a life consistent with what they profess. We therefore need to be examples in marriage and family life. Good examples. D.L. Moody one said, and I quote, a man ought to live so that everybody knows he is a Christian and most of all, his family ought to know, unquote. A man ought to live so that everybody knows he is a Christian. A man ought to live most especially, his family ought to know. And then we spend time talking about what young people expect from their parents and guiding. So the parents and guidance, young people expect certain things from them and then we tried to bring some of them out last week. Now we concluded saying that as Christians, we should reflect Christ in our marriage and family lives. In so doing, we'll be setting a good example to the world to emulate because that is our target that we will be good examples. Yeah, and by so doing, we will prove to the world that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the way, the truth, and the life. And that indeed Jesus was sent by God. Now today we want to continue saying that a boy whose parents never attend church and are not born again. And who makes no pretense, the parents make no pretense about being spiritual. Who excuse the parents' behavior as it is consistent with their irreligion. Now, say, now, what for no one name Christo? Now, what do you know? What brought you now? No, a dead pefe, so we name a radia, Sabo Frano, Yana, or Sususa. Now, what for Brabono, Eberhano? They excuse their parents because their parents are not religious. So, whatever they do, he can excuse them. Because your parents, they don't go to church, they don't believe in God. Yes. But a youngster who sees the father who professes to be a Christian and also goes ahead to accept church leadership position in church. And then come home and yell. Blame. And bitter children. Abuse wife. Organize no devotions 
in the house. You find it very difficult to accept their double standards. See, brothers and sisters. We are often consistently inconsistent. Consistently inconsistent. And our, and our children, they can't take that. But a consistent Christian life can be achieved. It must be lived through the will. Not through mere emotions. We should take steps to correct the past. And may, may I encourage you to begin today. Consistent Christian life is achievable. It must be lived through the will. Not merely through emotion. You should take steps, take decision as to what to do. After hearing all that we have been saying about family life, make a decision. And I want to encourage you that start it today. Because all is not lost. It is not over yet. Dr. John Haggai of the Haggai Institute says, Be careful what you call impossible. Be careful what you call impossible. I want to say that don't despair on your children. On your spouse. Or on any member of your household. Now don't despair on them. That as for this boy. No. Don't despair on them. Be careful what you have labeled impossible. Take steps to make the correction. Don't sack your difficult child from the home. Now, please pay attention to this. Don't sack your difficult child from home. Don't do that. Don't sack your difficult child from home. See, when you do that, you don't qualify to go out with us to go and preach the gospel of Christ. No, you don't qualify. Once you sack your boy from home, once you sack your difficult girl from home, when we go out on rally, are you going to look for the same person? So you don't qualify to join us when we go out to look for the lost. But sometimes it is difficult. But you see, the person is your child. A member of your household. Now, are there some remedies? Yes, we've said a lot. But today I want to encourage parents and guidance to be a praying people. They should be a praying people. See, the value of prayer, none can measure. I trust in the power of the word of God. My brothers, I fear prayer. I trust in the power of the word of God. But I fear prayer. Go through prayer can bring back our wayward children. It can, through prayer, 
guide our children into their providential way. So prayer is partnering with God. Prayer is partnering with heaven. To reverse the seemingly irreversible. Because with him there is nothing impossible. So John Haggai says, Be careful of what you have labeled impossible. God through prayer can save our way watchers. Can change your spouse. Can make your home. A heaven. The angels can be descending and ascending in your home. Jacob said, God is here and I didn't know. God is with you. He is in your home. Please open your eyes. And and partner with heaven. Let your house be a house of God. We just need to raise prayer altars for our spouses and our children. Job chapter 1. From verse 1 to 5. Job chapter 1. In the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. He owned 7,000 sheep, three thousand camels, five hundred yoke of oxen, and five hundred donkeys, and had a large number of servants. He was the greatest man among all the people of the East. Now, when you are in Pinson, ne Yoma, and Pinsa, ne and then Chie and Pahon, a henum, ne and Funumu, Berie, a henum, ne a son for the brave pa, now a berry may you so send a poem manunina. Now pay attention to this. Part. His sons used to hold feasts in their homes on their birthdays, and they would invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. Na ne mamere mano koto puno wo oba kufiye ubiara eneneda na wosma ma woko fre wunya mama no basano ba se wani wong emedidi na wonom. Now. Pay attention to this. One. When a period of feasting had run its course, Job will make arrangements for them to be purified. Early in the morning, he will sacrifice a burnt offering for each of them, thinking, Perhaps my children have sinned and cursed God in their heart. This was Job's regular custom na punto on na no efa won su sia hio so ma ko dwira won na otua hima ko bo o sia afode se de won nyina dodo ate e firi se hio ka se e bia me ma no aye bone na wadum nyankopon won akoma mu sa anana hio ye da after the feasting is over a punto on nyina e chire he made arrangements for them to be purified. And he does that early in the morning. He sacrifice a burnt offering for each of them. Now thinking. Not that he has seen them doing anything ever, but thinking. Perhaps my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. It means that he didn't see them do anything evil. But he knows they are children, they are young people. As you are partying, maybe, they are partying, maybe they are 
they might have done something against God. He says in their hearts. And this one we? was a regular practice from this righteous man. See this job. <laughs> See the offering he made on behalf of the children was a form of prayer. We na a yem paibo and a obono for them. Na o body ama wong. And it was a regular practice. Na na eya dia debia oye. Right. By this righteous man. But nini na di ono no. Na he was a go between God and the children. We na ojina onyankopon ene ne ma no entem. What that means is that he was their priest. Ye chire ni na oye wong sofwo. Because his home was a house of God. It sounds like none of you are here. What a man! What a man! In Job thirty-three, a young man by name Eliphaz. Eliphaz. In Job thirty-three, a young man by name Eliphaz. 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 To accept that perhaps he has sinned against God, that is why all this trouble had come upon him. Now, Obo Modiya, so be my job. As soon as to say a bia or no, and now Oye Bibitiya Onyankopo. That is why all the calamity, the affliction, has come upon him. Now, a bia nam saya so, and nam ma ohani amani ni na abanu so. And then he says this. Now, when in kasa imuno, God speaks to men. And then he says that he does that sometimes directly. Other times through dreams. And even through circumstances like job circumstances. So he is saying that maybe the situation that you are in, God has brought you into this situation just to speak to you away. Let's go to Job 33. Let's go and join Elihu. From verse 19. Or someone may be chasing on a bed of pain with constant distress in their bones. Now what the year I train us on in Paso no, I jumped the verses that spoke about what I just said. And then I'm just coming to Job's case and what Elihu wants to say about the matter. No ma e dear ni mono, and no new edi won't come more dano, and I may banya elihu or kasa e dear fa yub this tibiano. So verse twenty. And dear twasu when you may do no dear body finds food repulsive and dear soul. Loves the choicest meal. Na nem kwa ma eduane funono na ne kra po na konodi. Your flesh wastes away to nothing, and your bones once hidden now stick out. Na ne hunam fong mano ye hununa na ne numpa anka wo hununumpo ededi. Your flesh wastes away to nothing. And their bones once hidden now stick out. They draw near to the pit and their life to the messengers of death. Now he's describing someone who is very sick. To the extent that he's saying that the bones, maybe the rib, the bones that were once hidden because of flesh, now stick out. And I'm sure he was talking to Job. Job, Job your bones are now protruding, <laughs> maybe out of your body. You are too sick, and he's saying that uh, maybe God is speaking to you. Since they draw near to the pit and their life to the messengers of death. Now, Now, 
But I'm interested in verse 23. Because of what I'm trying to say, that we need praying parents. Verse 23. This is Elihu, so speaking. Yet, if there is an angel at their side, NLT will say that if there is an angel to intercede for them. Yet if there is an angel to intercede for them, a messenger, one out of thousand, one out of thousand people to intercede for this person who is almost being handed over to the angel of death. Sent to tell them how to be upright. And he is gracious to that person and says to God, Spare them from going down to the pit. This fellow is saying to God, Spare them. Spare this fellow from going to the pit. I have found a ransom for him, something to replace his condition now, so that he doesn't die. Now, Let their flesh be renewed like a child's. Let them be restored as in the days of their youth. Then that person can pray to God and find favor with him. They will see God's face and shout for joy. He will restore them to full well-being. Now, he will restore them to full well-being. Now, what do I want to draw out of this? It doesn't matter the condition that Elihu described. He is still saying that if there is an intercessor who will speak on this fellow's behalf to God saying God spare this fellow's life one out of thousand God can restore be careful what you call impossible the highest form of Christian ministry is intercessory prayer we need parents who bear their children up, who bear their spouses up in prayer, yeah. asking God spare their life. Don't suck difficult children from home. Don't despair on your husband. Don't pack saying we are incompatible. If you are incompatible, God can make you compatible. Prayer, the value of it, none can measure. I pray that God will help us. That we will have men and women who will be praying parents. Children who can also bear their parents up in prayer. Don't see them quarreling every day and say that's for daddy and mama. But when you start praying for them, God through your prayer can reverse the situation. Paul constantly bore his children up in prayer. His congregation, he never left them. He kept them before the presence of God, daily praying for them. Paul, his aim was that the character of Christ will be formed in them. Galatians 4 verse 19. Galatians 4 verse 19. My dear children, for whom I am again in the pain of childbirth 
until the character of Christ is formed in you. Me ma nkuma a mere komo awo bio kosi se wo bewie Christo suye e wo momo. I'm not suggesting that start praying for difficult children or it is only difficult children who need to be interceded for. Pray for your child. Don't wait till the person becomes difficult. Pray. Even now that they seem to love God, that God will sustain them so by his powerful word and spirit. In fact, this evening we want to pray. We want to spend time praying that God will heal broken marriages. That God will restore love in marriages. That God will turn couples' heart back to himself again and to one another. That the hearts of children who are wayward be turned back to God and to the parents. That children who have left home will come back home. That Christian homes will indeed be a church and a seminary. That family altars will be raised in homes again. We said that when we stop raising family altars, Challenges in homes also started rising. Now we want to pray that our marital and family lives will be exemplary. Now we base our prayer on 1 Kings eighteen thirty seven. Now, this is the great Elijah trying to reverse the whole condition. What seems to be uh, destroyed in Israel at the hearts of Israelites that has, that has gone after Baal. He wanted that God will bring their hearts back to himself. Now when Empire Bomo Israel Maya no one in Akuma Aqua Dibal Sumo Echino Peso signed one by Radi and Chambio. First Kings eighteen thirty seven. A kind I am for whom I decano it didn't work in you edia sa and so answer me Lord Jemiso answer me Eurade Jemiso so that these people will know that you Lord our God so that these people will know that you, Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. That you are turning their hearts back to you again. Answer me, Lord. Answer me. So that these people will know that you, Lord, are God. That my children will know that you, Lord, you are God. That my husband will know that you, Lord, you are God. That my wife will know that you, Lord, you are God. And that you are turning their hearts. Has back to you again. That you are bringing my wayward child back to the house again. We want to pray. We will continue to be praying. That God will cause family altars to be raised in home the whole of this month. Because when we possess the homes. We will be possessing the future world. May God be with us. I want to encourage you to rise wherever you are. That we will go into about 20 minutes of prayer. Praying that God. Restore our fortunes again. 
Mama, ya japa di ensai mrebi. Raise family altars again in homes. Oh, ya ensi ya busu ya fori muti ya bio. Father, heal broken marriages. Ewa la de, awari ya jijano, sanjari ya. Let us be good examples. Ya nyan shua so pa. So that the university lady cannot say. Then ya beya asu ya pon mu ba no, en kansa di enan waka ya no. We don't like what we see. Say di ye hunu no, ya mpe. Let them see. A wong hunu. Exemplary lifestyles in us. Say ye ye nshua so pa. That they will glorify Jesus. Mwa she Christo en yo nyan. The Messiah. Shall we lift up hands if we can? And I want you to open your mouth in prayer. Turn to your home. If you are not even married, pray against your future marriage if you want to marry. And pray for your children if you desire to have one. And pray, continue to pray. And that our Make it the very antos yanadi. Sanama, Sanama, Kalaba, Kaliba, Kali. Je ne veux plus accoucher. Je ne veux plus me déplacer. Ma carte va t'avoir calé pour tout me guetter. Kalibra Hadia. Sané Kalima Hamzu. Je ne veux plus accoucher. Je ne veux plus accoucher. Kalima Abdullah Hadia. Intervene in family lives, intervene, intervene in married lives, intervene, O Lord. Masanda baya hakulebre hatuya, meke debe kataya. We are praying for broken marriages, O Lord. Meke debe 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 hatos ya hatia. Are you tying the hearts of men and women to God? Jedebe hataya. That you men broken homes and breaking marriages, O Lord. Jedebe kete baya hakulebre hatuya. Lebe kalima hakulebre Tobre antoyo siyadiya, labo kule bayandaya, masada yande kaliya, ashoto yoku ana hande kataya, ameke debe debre hanto koto bre hande ya, zedebe debre hanto yu, me kale ba ya sulabre hanto yu, me setebe ya siyande ya, in Jesus name, Amen. Beloved, the four. From the first Kings 1837, that our father just read to us. Elijah just said to God, Answer me, Lord. Answer me so people will know that you are Lord. And that you are turning their hearts back again. But before he prayed this prayer, he, the Bible says he, he put together the altar. So I wanted to start from the family altar. And our father said we have to start it now. So we are praying, praying for grace to establish family altar in every family. Every family that is listening to us. 
We are praying that you start your family altar now. And may the Lord grant you the grace for establishment. That the altar that you are setting on fire today will be with you forever. And the fire on this altar will never go down. Shall we lift up our voices unto the God to grant us grace to start our family altar? Oh Lord, we call for grace, we ask for grace to God to set up family altars in every family, in the altar that has been broken down, in the family without an altar, we are asking for grace to put a family altar in place, grace for establishment of God. And we are praying that the fire on this altar will never go down. That our family altars will be sustained the God with consistency of prayer, consistency of worship, consistency of the study of your word. Oh Lord, help us raise our family altars. Help us raise our broken altars. And let it stop now. And let it stop Start today. Let there be revival of all types of God in every family, O Lord. Make a toll, Shantaya. Make a number of a poke to the Adde. Send a number of a Shantaya Aho. Make a number of a Bakolo be Andoyo Siyende. Let make a toll Kayende. Makolo be Sanima Asua. Make a Tamaya Hafra Hatoyo. Oh Lord, grant us the grace, O Lord, to put in place family altars in our various homes, O Lord. The grace to gather together our household and bring everybody on board, O God. Oh Lord, help us. Oh Lord, grant us grace, O Lord. Make us not a sunnabre antoye. Make us le be kaluba antoye. Zene mene mene yende. Zana ma hafele be antoye. Be kaluba tombe yende. Mene kasaya. Zana hafele be antoye srende. Le be katuko tombe antoye. Me kame kato. Zene me a sunnabre antoye srende. Lama hafele be yende. Kama Lord, set our altars on fire. Set the altars on fire. Set the altars on fire. Let every family altar catch the fire of the Lord through the word of your servant. Let there be revival. And let there be fire on every family altar. And let there be consistency. And let there be sustainability. Let the fires on this altar never Go down, oh God. Let the fire on this altar set the families ablaze, oh God, and get the families unto you, oh Lord. Make a bayanda hashudende, kale bayanda hashudabre antoyo. Let the kando kotobre ande, zada hasule bayanda kaya. Make a lubo antoyo siyendia, make a lebre antoyo. Yele be kalu kotobre bayanda hasu. On the basis of this rebuilt altars, we are praying for broken down marriages and relationships that are in some difficulties that through the power of intercessory prayers may the Lord intervene and restore unity and harmony unto Christian families. Shall we lift up our voices and begin to pray? Pray before the Lord. Broken down marriages. Pray for your spouse. Pray for yourselves. Hold hands and pray. Wherever you are. Father, we pray, oh God. We pray into marriages that are broken down. 
We pray into relationship with God. There are in my difficulties and challenges. And Lord, we pray for divine intervention of God. The heart of kings, the heart of husbands and wives are in your hands, O God. Father, turn the heart of the man to the woman. And turn the hearts of the wives to their husbands, O God. Let there be divine intervention of God. Father, we intercede for families of God that have been broken apart of God. We intercede for marriages of God. We intercede for marriages of God. Oh Lord, step on your hand, O God, and touch marriages of God, and make broken marriages of God, and restore broken homes, O Lord. Oh Lord, do it. Master, the Mekanda has come after you. Let me do what I could have done. You are the God who made the hands of men the God. Lord, touch the hearts of God. Touch broken marriages of God. Make a death bed come in the hand for you. A bed come on Sataya. Jemen and the Nevi. Kalaba Asuda Brahat Toki and Sia. Make a death bed come on the Nevi. Send them in the bed of the Antoyo. Make a new Kotoyo. Send them in the Asuda Brahat Toyo. Make a new Kotoyo. 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 Make a new Restore, restore, restore broken relationships. Restore broken relationships. Restore broken marriages of God. Make a temple come Let marriages become examples of God. Unto the heathen, unto the world of God. Make a temple come back. Make a new temple come back. Make a new temple come back. Make a new temple come back. Make a let the hearts of couples of God be turned to each other. Unite the hearts of our couples. Unite the hearts of couples. Couples who are going through challenges. Lord, drop your heart. Do this to grace to their hearts, O Lord. And let the hearts of our couples of God be united, O Lord. And the compass in the Asura. Make a let me have those in the other of the other. Make a baby, say, Labrador, those in the other. In Jesus' name, we pray. Return, give me. The ones who want to live before the Lord. Children who are also posing challenges to their families. Delinquent children. Wayward children. That the Lord will touch their hearts. Turn their hearts unto their parents. And let the hearts of the parents also be turned unto the children. And no parent will suck their children from their homes. No matter how difficult the situation is. By the power of the word that we receive tonight. Nothing is impossible for the Lord to do. And therefore as we lift up intercessory prayer. May the Lord touch the hearts of these children. And touch the hearts of their parents. And bring them together once again. Shall we lift up our voice and pray. We pray for where we are children of God. We pray for children who are causing problems to their parents of God. We pray for parents who have sent their children from home of God. And we are asking the Lord that you turn the heart of these children and you turn the heart of their parents. May you turn the heart of the children unto the parents. And may you tie the hearts of the parents, even unto their delinquent children of God. May you bring them together, O oh Lord. May you bring them together, O oh God. By the power of intercessory prayer, Lord, assemble the children of God. Wherever the children are, no matter how far they have put out the world of God, Father, draw them near, draw them unto their parents' homes. Draw them unto their parents, O God. Minister to their hearts. Minister to their hearts. 
Minister to their souls. Minister to their minds, Lord. And restore them to God. In the broken homes of God. In the homes of God with disunity and confusion. Let there be restoration. Let this difficult children of God. We want children of God. Be restored back unto their families. Be restored back unto their homes, Lord. And let there be peace. And let there be harmony. Increase your hearts, Lord. Make a compliance. I beg of you, Katamoli. Send them to Asura Bratoya. Make a compliance. I beg of you. Send them to Yataya. Kale Baba Kato. Mokombe Baba Kato. Asura Baba. Lebe Lebe Asura Baba. Make a compliance. I beg of you. Send them to Yataya. You also want to pray for families, for marriages and family life. God's greater desire is that Christian marriages and our families will be examples. Examples to our children, examples to families around us, examples to the world. And we are praying tonight that may the Lord grant us grace and we will live our family lives consistent with the word of God so that others will copy us others will, will see us and give glory to God others will see us and praise our Jesus and know that indeed Christ died for for us. And he has set us an example to follow. Shall we pray for Christian marriages and families? Unto our world, O God, and let our daily lives, O God, and our practices, O God, become examples. Help us, O Lord, to live life that are consistent with your word, O God, and let our consistency, O God, be examples unto our children, examples unto our world. Let the character of Christ, O God, be seen in us as parents and be incorporated in our children. Let our lives as, as Christian families, O Lord, spread the fragrance of Christ around our neighborhoods, around our community, around our world, O God. Oh Lord, grant us grace. Oh Lord, grant us the grace, O Lord. Make a cabayante as a brother in the family life, in the family life that is in difficulty. We are praying for grace. We are praying for your sustaining grace, O God. And let us start a praise, O God. Renew, O God. Moko Dapa Asura Ataya. Epe Kane Sane Asura. Meka Moko Dapa Bayanda. 
Finally, we want to lift our upcoming all ministers' conference into the hands of the living God. This is the first of its kind in our church. Where we are inviting ministers from even outside our church. All over. To come together with our ministers. And the focus is to understand the purpose of the church. We are praying that. God will open the heavens and grant us great success in this meeting. Shall we lift up our voices? Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit it to God. This Nobel project in your hands. We ask him to God for heaven's grace. We ask him to God for heaven's we are praying for our fathers and our leaders, O Lord, that are going to be speakers, O Lord, in this fashion. We are praying for ministers coming from all over the place, O Lord. We are asking the God for a great to God. Attention, O God, from heaven, we are praying for a great success, O God. A great impact, a greater impact, to God, in the lives, O God, of ministers, O God, who are Father, we pray, O God, that your hand will be uplifted, O God, and you will work everything together for the good of the church, O Lord, and you will use this, O Lord, to build a formidable force, even for the sake of your kingdom. We give you praise, O Lord. Masata bayende katibra hanaya, alleve ashilebre ato, kama ate na ya ya, mesele de ato ya, mesele de Father, do it like you do it again. Do it like you do it always for us, O Lord. And let your name be glorified. We give you thanks and we give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we thank you. We bless your name, O God, from the depths of our heart. We thank you for your word that came to us. And today, O God, we stand in the gap. And we intercede, O God, for all families. Especially, Father, families, O God, that are broken down. And where there is chaos, O God, and where there is uni disunity. Tonight, we stand in the gap on behalf of such families. And we pray, O oh God, that you will answer us, yes, Lord. Lord. And that you will, you will intervene in such families. Mm. That you will bring back oneness. Mm. That you will bring back togetherness. Yes, in the name of Jesus. That in marriages, O oh God, your hand will prevail. Mm. That the spirit of confusion will disappear. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And tonight we pray, O oh God, for wayward children. Mm. Children, O oh God, that have left home. Children that have joined bad company. Children that have joined criminals. Children, O oh God, that have become wayward and have become drug addicts, O oh God. Tonight, send your word. Send your Arrest word. them, O oh God. Arrest them, In the God. name of Jesus. Amen. Let your word convict them tonight. Jesus. And Father, let them return home. In the name, In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And let peace return to our homes. In Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, help us, O oh God, with the grace to raise family altars, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that our homes will become a place where you dwell, that our homes, O oh God, will radiate your very presence in the name of Jesus, that your word will continue to convict our children, that they will stay 
and remain in you. We thank you tonight. We believe that as we have prayed, you have heard us. And so we say, may all glory, all glory. be unto your name. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. grateful to God for another very impactful evening and for the privilege of praying to raise prayer altars to save our families. We are so grateful to our father, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost for always being a great blessing to us. Tonight also we're blessed to have joining this meeting one of our very loyal Zoom audience, one of the loyal Zoom members. She's always on the Zoom, both for the evening service and then also for the Tuesday prayers. Dickness Grace Smith from the Manchester district in the UK. Yes, 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 yes. So um, let's have a more close up shot of her so that we can see her well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So welcome, welcome, God richly bless you so much. Yeah. All right, so beloved, um, as our father did indicate, we want to continue to raise intercession. And so tomorrow night we are here for Raw Goes Live. And uh, we'll be praying for families from 10.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. From 10.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. And then Wednesday, Wednesday night we would also be here for Raw Goes Live from 10.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. Then... 
on Tuesday, we'll go for the virtual prayer night. The virtual prayer night with our dear chairman from 10 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. The webinar ID is 988-29711-3866-9882-9711-3866. And the passcode is chairman. Once the system is asking for an email and you have one, you key it in, you are granted access. If not, the generic is meetings at gmail.com. So it's 22 hours to 23, 30 hours GMT. We are praying and trusting God. And then we also want to keep announcing our impending All Ministers Conference as we prayed into. It's coming on from the 13th to the 16th of September. The registration portals have been opened. Registration has been extended to 25th of August. It's still 400 Ghana cities. Very, very, very subsidized. Very subsidized. It has your accommodation. It has your feeding. And I uh, also want to announce that um, the speakers are out. Uh, dear chairman is ministering. A general secretary, IMD, and all our fathers and great men of God as has been displayed. And then we have Voice of Pentecost, Adam Riku, Mrs. Grace Gaffetto, and then Pastor Joe Bicham. The theme, rediscovering and fulfilling the purpose of the church. And so if you have not invited your friend who is a non-COP minister to be part, we want to implore you to do so, so that we can all together partner and influence our society with the values and principles of the kingdom of God. We are grateful to our sponsors, Priority Insurance, Next Computers, Lufa Tablet and Syrup, and EDC. Tonight also we were on the Church of Pentecost YouTube page. So we're on Pen TV GH YouTube page, and then we we're on the Church of Pentecost YouTube page. We want to encourage all across the globe that let us subscribe to these pages. Let us also share the link. Uh, let us share the link. We want to ensure that these messages are hidden everywhere on the various platforms so that we would be able to save the families. Our Father has admonished us that a consistent Christian life is achievable and we can start today and so we ought to be careful of what we call impossible may the lord give us grace as we go to raise build and sustain our family artists see you next time god bless you Oh